Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today to do a mid-month reading for the sign of Leo. And Leo, you are my last one here for these mid-month September readings. So I hope you're doing well. It's been a lot of transformative energy um, in these readings, so I hope that will continue for you. This could be your energy or somebody attached to you, so please don't take on energies that are not yours. And also, um, hmm, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I have said my prayer called in my spirit guides. And thank you for being here and supporting the channel. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your comments, and views. Oh, my goodness. So we have the eclipse tomorrow night, and that will be included in this reading. And I'm starting with the Sacred Traveler. So Spirit Guides, what do we have for Leo for the remainder of this month? What energies are around them? Leo, the end of September. Okay, I guess spirit has a lot to say. Bottom of our deck is wandering path, enjoy the journey. So what are you up to these days, Leo? Are you out on some kind of a path? Are you exploring something, right? Spiritual journey, healing journey, love journey, right? Some kind of um, path. Maybe you have your own business or something like that. Ah, choosing your path, all is possible. We have navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, right? Um, what makes you happy? Doing what you love. And solitude, in silence, peace, peace prevails. And that's the truth. Let's get silent, let's be still, and let's see what kind of um, communication we get from spirit. And overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. You can. We are strong beyond means. And the fact of the matter is, is that you have survived 100% of circumstances. If you're here today watching this video, okay, you've survived. You are that strong. We have far away places. Get ready for new horizons in your life. Um, maybe this could be, maybe you're going to be traveling or visiting somewhere. Or maybe this is... Um, just um, energy that you're traveling, you're moving through things, you're experiencing things. We have great adventure. Take a risk and move forward. Okay, keep going forward in life, Leo. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. You might be shining your light and showing the way for others. We have Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. Okay? Love is flowing through you, out of you, and out into the universe. Surrender to the journey. Release control. What are you trying to control in your life, Leo? Just release control and flow with the energies, please. Grounding. Go deep and explore your roots. Right? Go within and really understand yourself leo and last is miracles explore um, expect the wonders to emerge in your life leo expect miraculous little things to happen for you here between now and the end of september okay wow wow we what a beautiful um opening energy here for you leo so now i'm going to take the good tarot a minute and connect into your energy leo so your 
really stepping into a leadership position here. All right, what else do we have here for Leo Spirit? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Bottom of our deck, Leo, is the hanged man. So you may be in hanged man energy or have um, somebody attached to you that is hanging off, trying to get clarity on something, going through a transformation, healing. You're waiting for an opportunity or something to come in and you're staying patient as the Empress, waiting for it, the King of Pentacles. Okay. So in our spread here we have no major arcana cards leo other than that hangman on the bottom of the deck the rest is process energy things you're working through and and that type of thing in the sp center of our spread we have the queen of swords and she knows her worth her value she will cut out whatever doesn't serve her She's committed to honesty and truth. She's wise. She's a leader. She's a business person. She's smart. She's beautiful. Okay. She knows what she wants. And she, look at the owl there, the, the wisdom that's in her. You know, she's learned. And she's like not messing around. Just give me the truth. Nothing but the truth, right? So we have the Ace of Cups, a full cup of love here. That's either coming towards you, Leo, or you're giving it to somebody. Maybe you want to express yourself in that way. And then we have the Knight of Wands. This is a fast-moving energy, um, a fiery knight, passionate, going after what they want. And maybe you love the path you're on because a wandering path. Maybe you love what you're doing. And maybe you uh, are headed towards a soul connection with someone. Or this is your balanced energy, right? You feel a soul connection with someone. And you have a cup of love for someone. Okay, in the second row we have the Knight of Swords. Sword, um, you know, a knight that's about truth and honesty comes in with that message to the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitments in our lives. Success and victory. It's the American dream. Um, it could be a long-term job, a long-term relationship of some kind here some long-term situation we have nine of cups wish fulfillment six of cups releasing the past letting it go and page of cups um, a beginning love connection a beginning offering in something test test text messages phone calls you know big first dates those kinds of things so um for a fire sign, we have an awful lot of water here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven of the ten cards are um, water cards. So you're really in your emotions. You're feeling a lot here, Leo. You're feeling this energy strongly. So we have the Ace of Cups. 
I have a cup of love for you. This is truth and honesty, and it's wish fulfillment for you. The Knight of Fire, the Queen of Swords, and we're healing, right? We're healing from this energy in our life. And then the Two of Cups, we're in a long-term commitment, and it's the beginning, it's the start of it. Okay, I'm going to take sacred, I mean, um, Lightseer's energy, and we're going to clarify some of this and get you a better picture of what's going on for you in the remainder of the month. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, for Leo. Is this ace of cups for Leo okay the two of swords maybe you were confused about a love offer or what happened in a love offer and you had to use your judgment and end something perhaps tell me about the knight of wands please Archangel Michael saying, be patient here, be patient, wait, let things come to you, helping you stay balanced. Yep, and you're waiting for this long-term success, right, this victory, um, this connection you're waiting for it yeah you looking for wish fulfillment and you're using your intuition here tell me about the two of cups energy please Three of Wands may be taking action towards a soul connection. Waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, something from the past. And you're amending and healing that. You're growing something else in your life. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Communication coming in, fast moving energy. moving maybe you're getting spiritual downloads and you're strategizing you're trying to make a move you're trying to get ahead here in some way leo and tell me about the queen of swords Queen of Swords is looking for her happiness, right? And she's manifesting it, right? She's uh, imagining what her life would be like. If she had everything she wanted. How would it be? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, please. That is the Knight of Cups. And he's going towards the Hermit, who is the Queen of Cups. Maybe she's the Knight of Cups, too. Oops, got one more card. And the Hierophant about commitment. 
Tell me about the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment here. Illumination and clarity about that. An offer coming in. And the Page of Pentacles, a beginner on something, right? And you have an opportunity coming in, Leo. Tell me about the Six of Cups energy. The past, you realize you have options and opportunities here. And you're a little worried and fearful of how things are going to work out for you. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Somebody's staying strong here and courageous and brave spirit helping with that energy. And there's uh, an opportunity of passion and creativity here for this page of cups, what they're doing. And it's the start of something. And they're using all their passion and strength and energy for it. Three of Cups, um, getting together with friends and celebrating, right? A milestone, something to celebrate, communication of some kind coming in um, that's going to make you happy, that's going to bring you clarity, an opportunity that has you strategizing and trying to get ahead here. And the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands, and this is about being spiritually aligned in your self-protective energy, going about doing your work, knowing that you're spiritually protected. So let's clarify some more energy here. Um, tell me about judgment, please, with this two of swords. Yeah, somebody in the five of swords energy, and they're transmuting that. Um... Tell me about the Eight of Wands with the Five of Wands. The Queen of Wands, our dynamic, fiery, passionate queen. Working on something, growing something. Tell me about the Hierophant. There's that Seven of Wands energy, right? That spiritual protection. The end of the overthinking and overworrying that's come to an end. You know what you're doing now, Leo. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, please. That's the Two of Wands. I've... Um, I've made the map, I've made the plan, I have the spreadsheets, I have everything I need. I'm doing the work, I'm just waiting for it to all come in. What else? Yeah, you're trying to stay balanced, you're trying to make things happen in your life. And this King of Pentacles energy, right? Trying to make it happen in your life and you're working hard at it right you're working hard and there's about to be a change coming in tell me about the wheel of fortune here the king of swords running away the truth of why someone ran away. And tell me about the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords for Leo. Well, that's the Four of Pentacles. 
being careful with your energy, how you use it, what you're giving to, holding your energy um, back, just being careful with it. Yeah. Feeling out of the cold, left out, abandoned, forgotten. And you're moving forward. You're leaving that energy behind. You're taking that. Yeah, you're the empress, right? You're in that chariot and you're leaving that behind. You have that ace of passion and you're moving forward with it. You're not worrying about anything anymore. You're emotionally balanced. Compassionate and loving. Hmm. And you have a victory coming. Even though you may be in a lot of fear and worry and concern that it won't come in. And you could be obsessed, um, so passionate about something you're doing, right? And maybe you have a decision to make. Is it the right thing? And that that's what has you in the hanged man. What am I going to do? What's the right thing to do? Do I stay on this balanced um, path that I've been on that makes me feel so good? Um, the work I'm doing that I'm passionate about, where I see an opportunity coming? Or do I do something different? Do I move in a different direction? The moon, deep emotions, clarity, healing. Could be a sudden change or something coming in here. Yes, I go to the bottom of the deck, the fool, knight of swords, two of cups. Eight of Cups. Okay. So, let's go back to the Good Tarot and get you an outcome, right? Assuming free will is the way it is and all the right decisions are made between now and the end of the month, how does the month close out? What is the outcome of this energy for you, Leo? Chariot, we're going forward to our happiness. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles, right? This pre-Empress energy, 
earthly, grounded, committed, dependable, reliable, knowledgeable, unbothered, goes about her work, doesn't care about the dramas in life. Okay. All right. So, Leo, this is what we have, the likely outcome of the month of September for you. You're just going forward, balanced, um, on your path um, towards um, a victory in your life. You're going for happiness and joy. Um, you're letting go of lack mentalities in your life. You're getting past the deception and the fear and the worries of the past. And you've transformed. Someone is watching you with this page of swords energy. They are in a hanged man. Um, the Four of Cups. Um, imagining what life would be like if everything works out the way you want it to, right? Um, trying to keep everything in balance and forward movement. Really worried. You're really up in your head right now. Very worried, Leo. And you're staying strong and confident. King of Cups is here. That emotional and maturity and balance. Loving and nurturing. And the King of Pentacles. This grounded, mature, responsible, dependable, reliable, protective, solid, foundational energy of the King of Pentacles energy here for you. So that's how life is going to play out here for you. You're staying strong and confident. You just want to get to your happiness, success, abundance coming in for you here. And you've got the King of Pentacles at the end in your beautiful um, Empress energy here on the bottom that you'll be in when you get together and um, you're going to make it to your Empress level here you've got you're going to get over this hanged man energy that you're feeling okay so let's see what higher level energies are around you Leo Gateway. Wow. Okay, bottom of our deck is pleasure. Let life be pleasurable. 
um, Leo. Enjoy life as much as you possibly can because some change is coming in for you, okay? So these are the energies that are around you. How spirit is supporting you through the remainder of the month. We have diligence. The spirit is saying, just keep putting in the due diligence. Keep doing the good work, okay? Um, you have an opportunity coming in. Some help, a support. Don't let it pass you by, okay? Um, and you are going to have success in your life. You're taking risks. You're taking chances. You're being courageous and brave. You're releasing the past. All fears, all doubts, all worries. And you're considering life an adventure. Spirit saying, get still so we can communicate. Some energy around you is at a standstill. It's just lingering there. It'll change. That's the only sure thing. Blessings are coming into your life, Leo. Purify your energy right now. Take the time to really release these energies. And continue to flow with the energy in the line of abundance. The gateway energy is here. You're elevating your energy. Yeah, you have a new beginning here. A fresh new beginning. And... You're staying focused on what you want in life. You have great potential to succeed, to be victorious, to make something happen in your life, and to get to wish fulfillment. Let yourself be at inner peace. Know that everything is always working out for you, Leo. Work on your security and safety and stability. Oh, it's going to be magic around you, Leo. Wondrous, wondrous things happen all the time. And keep going forward, right? Keep moving forward and making good decisions for yourself. All right, Leo, that's the reading I have for you today. Thank you for being here and supporting the channel. Sending love and light to all, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.